Is the COVID-19 vaccine safe for patients with myelofibrosis and how does the vaccine affect treatment? So I will flip that question around a little bit in okay. uh, everything in life. All right, I live in New York City. If I cross the street, the decision to cross the street is potentially a life or death decision. Sure. Uh, and whatever minor decision you're making, uh, there's always risks and there's always potential benefits. So I might get home, I might get run over by a cab. And so I try to mitigate those risks uh, as I can uh, by crossing, you know, in certain streets, looking both ways. So, you know, when we talk about vaccine, we also have to talk about the other uh, part of it. What is the risk of not being vaccinated? And so we know uh, COVID-19 is a severe illness in a subset of patients. Uh, we know that even, you know, if you take all people, about 1% of people die from covid uh, if we take all people uh, from the vaccine who have been vaccinated, the number of st serious side effects is very, 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 very small. So like 0. 0.000, you know, something percent. So very low. Yes. It doesn't mean it's zero, but it, it's very, very low. So just looking at those numbers, I say for virtually everybody, the risk benefit is in favor of vaccination. In patients with myelofibrosis, uh, we've had the um, opportunity uh, collectively across the world to sort of gather experience and look at patients with myeloproliferative neoplasms and their, how they were responded to uh, COVID when they were infected with COVID. And worldwide, the toxicity of COVID uh, in patients uh, seems to be quite high. And so patients with uh, myelofibrosis may be at higher risk from COVID. I can't say that they absolutely are because this is imperfect data, but that's the experience that has been published uh, so far. We really don't know anything about the experience of patients to the vaccine. Actually, at my center, we have a myeloproliferative diseases center, and, and we are uh, trying to collect that information uh, because patients often ask. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't have any results from that, but I think that, uh, you know, all told that there is no reason to expect higher symptoms in patients with my myelofibrosis from vaccination. And what we do know is that the risk of not being vaccinated is probably higher than the risk of being vaccinated. Mm -hmm.